हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज विधि अमृत्या सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज दी क्लोराम फेमिकल्स ओके सो लेट्स वी स्टार्टेड विद दिस अवर न्यू टॉपिक सो टूडेज अवर स्टडी इज स्टडी ऑफ द कंटेंट दैट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द क्लोराम फेमिकल्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द सक स्ट्रक्चर हियर देन स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप एंड मोड ऑफ एक्शन एंड देन यूजेज ऑफ द क्लोराम फेमिकल्स ओके so let's we started with the introduction so chloram phenicol was discovered after being isolated from the streptomyces venezuelani in 1947 so it uh, contains the chlorine and is obtained from the actinomycetin and thus named as the chloromycetin chloromycetin okay it's uh, having the another name that is the chloromycetin because having the they having uh, st- uh, they having this st- uh, chlorine in their structure and also that uh, obtained from the actinomycete then chloram phenicol is the broad spectrum antibiotic useful for the treatment of number of bacterial infections okay it is the broad spectrum antibiotic or they use for the many uh, ma- many treatments like the uh, bacterial infections it is specially recommended for the treatment of the serious infections caused by the h influenza then uh, step, uh, s typhi that is the typhoid and s pneumonia okay so this is the broad spectrum antibiotic so they treat the many uh, many are bacterial infection okay and they specially use for the uh, in market uh, they use for the typhoid then uh, s uh, pneumonia and then h influenza okay then here structure so they having the three main parts of the structure okay first that is the paranitrophenyl ring okay this is the paranitrophenyl ring then here propendiol moiety this moiety that is the propendiol because they having the three carbon so 1 3 propen and it's having the two oh group so that's why that's called the diol okay then dichloroacetamide okay it's having the two chlorine atoms in their structure and this is the acetamide structure so two uh, sorry dichloroacetamide structure okay so this is the chloram phenicol structure first that is the uh, first moiety that is the paranitrophenyl ring then 13 propendiol moiety and and then dichloroacetamide moiety okay so <coughs> structure activity relationship so the, here this is the structure of the chloram phenicol for first that is the um, paranitrophenyl ring second one that is the 13 propendiol and third one that is the uh, dichloroacetamide okay so last with uh, started with the uh, structure activity relationship of the chloram phenicol in this uh um star we will discuss about the first ring or first moiety that is the paranitrophenyl ring okay paranitrophenyl ring so modification of the paranitrophenyl ring so here replacement of the paranitro uh, replacement of the nitro group by other substituents so they reduce the activity okay so uh, re, uh shifting uh, re- replacement of the nitro group with other any substituent or other any groups okay so the uh, they re- lose their activity okay then shifting of the nitro nitro group from the para position they also reduce the antibacterial activity okay this para position group or nitro group they are shifting from meta or ortho position so they lose their antibacterial activity okay so 
for the antibacterial best antibacterial activity this nitro group are must be attached from para position okay then replacement of the phenyl group by alicyclic moiety results that lose the potent compound okay so here alicyclic moiety so phenyl group that is the any aromatic uh, aromatic ring then the uh, phenyl so they re reduce their activity okay so they uh, uh, so here like uh, one example that is the nitro nitrothal derivatives having the less activity than the chloram phenicol okay because they having the alicyclic moiety okay here alicyclic aromatic moiety that is the must be required for the their uh, activity or they potent uh, potented compound okay so then next that is the para nitro group may be replaced by the other aryl structure without appreciable loss of activity okay so para nitro group can be substituted with the strong strong electron withdrawing group so they lose their activity okay so here para nitro phenyl group that must be must be required okay then now we will discuss about the our second our second moiety that is the 13 propen diol okay so here modification of the 13 propen diol so first point the primary alcoholic group on the c1 that is the carbon number 1 primary that is the one carbon second carbon and third carbon okay so here primary alcoholic group on the c1 carbon number 1 atom they modified modification on the this uh, oh group so they modify and decrease their activity and hence al alcoholic group for the essential for the activity okay so here primary alcoholic group of the c1 carbon number that is the must be required for their activity okay got it so there here some uh, 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 some stereochemistry of the side chain also essential for the activity okay here stereochemistry of the side chain they are uh, essential for the activity so here side chain like this this one group and here this is the side chain okay then in a propendiol should be in a 3o configuration okay one three propendiol should be in 3o configuration okay so uh, then now we will discuss about the our third point that is the modification of the dichloro chloroacetamide side chain okay dichloroacetamide side chain that is the nh double bond o and double uh, nc and double cl okay dichloroacetamide n nh co ch cl 2 okay dichloroacetamide that is the structure of the dichloroacetamide formula of this dichloroacetamide okay so the other dihalo derivatives of the side chain give the slightly less activity okay other dihalo substituents and or uh, derivatives other dihalo derivatives or substitution they are Uh, of the side chain gives slightly less activity to the dichloroacetamide uh, side, uh, side chain okay if we are going to substitute it with the trifluorine that is the 2 nh co cf3 okay cf3 here 
ट्राइफ्लोरिन ग्रुप ग्रुप डेरिवेटिव गिव्स दी 1.7 टाइम मोर एक्टिवनेस टू दी क्लोराम फेनिकल ओके इफ हैविंग और इफ वी आर गोइंग टू सब्सिट्यूएशन विद दी ट्राइफ्लोरिन डेरिवेटिव इन दी एसिड डाइक्लोरो एसिटामिड ग्रुप सो दे गिव्स दी 1.7 टाइम more active than the chloram phenicol okay or to the chloram phenicol if we are uh, substitute with the trifluorine okay that is the 2nh co cf3 okay the, uh, uh, fluorine is the 3 so trifluorine replacement with the dichloroacetamide or acetamido group okay now we will discuss about the our mode of action or also known as the uh, mechanism of action of the chloram phenicol okay so here here it is also bacterial protein synthesis inhibitor okay chloram phenicol that is the bacterial protein synthesis inhibitor inhibitors because they inhibit the synthesis of the protein bacterial protein okay so it is the lipid soluble drugs so so they diffuse into the bacterial cells membrane and bind with the 50 as ribosomal sub units okay it is the lipid soluble drugs so they diffuse into the bacterial cell membrane okay chloram phenicol that is the lipid soluble drug so they diffuse the bacterial cell membrane and they bind with the 50s ribosomes uh, ribosomal subunit okay so they now prevent the formation of the pe uh, peptide bond or they prevent the uh, formation of uh, new generation of the peptide bond by interfering with the transfer of elongating peptide chain to newly attached transfer rna okay rna at the ribosome m rna complex okay so this is the mode of action or mechanism of action of chloram phenicol so main purpose of the uh, chloram phenicol that is the they inhibit the bacterial protein synthesis okay so they also known as the bacterial protein synthesis drug it is the very potent drug for the bacterial inhibition okay now we will discuss about the uses of the chloram phenicol so here drug of the choice for treatment of the typhoid fever in typhoid fever we are first uh, choosing this drug okay then use for the tr treating brain abscesses that brain abscesses that is the swelling on the brain brain okay Uh, pus, a pus pus that fills in the brain and they got uh, swelling on the brain in combination with the ampicillin they gives the bacterial meningitis okay bacterial infections in the um, in the in the um, uh, sorry bacterial infection in combination with the in combination with the ampicillin given for the therapy of the bacterial meningitis it is quite effective against the most bacteria okay most of the bacteria quite effective against the most bacteria here i am not mention that but uh, they having the one side effect that is the bone marrow uh, depression okay bone marrow depression that is the uh, uh, very non side effect of the chloram phenicol okay so thank you to all